Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to perform division with negative numbers. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there. Four times eight. Remember, multiplication represents repeated addition. So four times eight actually means four plus 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 four, which is 32. And so 32 divided by four, how many fours go into 32? Well, that's eight. That's because four times eight is 32. So pay attention to this pattern that goes like this, Charlie, just like that. That's right, because that's how you check your answer in your division problems. 32 divided by four is eight because four times eight is 32. But remember, a positive times a positive is positive. Four times eight is a positive 32. Let's look at negative eight times seven. That means you have seven negative eights being added up. And that gives you a negative 56. Remember, a negative times a positive will always be negative. Well, how many negative eights go into negative 56? Obviously, seven of them, right? Positive seven. And remember this pattern? Negative eight times seven is negative 56. That's because a negative times a positive has to be negative. So what does this tell us about division problems with two negative numbers? It must be true then that a negative divided by a negative has to be positive. Otherwise, that little pattern would not work. Okay, let's look at negative 32 divided by positive four. Well, negative 32 divided by a positive four has to be negative eight because four times a negative eight is negative 32. Notice a negative divided by a positive has to be negative. That's because the positive four times a negative eight has to equal that negative 32. How about a positive 35 divided by a negative five? Well, that has to be negative seven. Why? Because look at the pattern. Negative five times negative seven is a positive 35. Remember, a negative times a negative is always positive. In terms of the division problem though, we see that a positive divided by a negative has to be negative. So if you have a positive number on top and a negative number on the bottom, your answer is negative. Positive 35 divided by negative five is a negative seven. If you have a negative on top and a positive on the bottom, your answer will also be negative, right? Because negative 32, Charlie, divided by positive four is negative eight. So remember, negative divided by a positive is negative and a positive divided by a negative is also negative. Now, what about the two negatives, remember? Negative 35 divided by negative five is a positive seven. That's because negative five times a positive seven is negative 35. So this tells us that, hey, if you have a negative number on the top and a negative number on the bottom, your answer must be positive. All right, now how about this problem here? 15 subtract three divided by negative three. Well, this gets into fractions. Remember, fractions represent division. Now, before you do the division problem, in a fractional representation such as this, you must simplify the top. And if you have an expression on the bottom, you must simplify the bottom before you actually perform the division here. So here we have 15 subtract three divided by negative three. We have to first perform the subtraction up on top. And 15 subtract three is 12. And 12 divided by a negative three is a negative four. Remember, a positive divided by negative is negative. Here we have 15 subtract three divided by three subtract 15. So we have to simplify the top. 15 subtract three is 12. And three subtract 15 is negative 12. Remember that Kung Fu. And a positive 12 divided by negative 12 must be a negative one because a positive divided by negative is negative. Now in this problem, five subtract seven divided by three subtract six. Let's simplify the top. Five subtract seven is negative two. Three subtract six is negative three. And negative two divided by negative three, you really can't simplify that yet, right? This is getting into fractions. But a negative divided by a negative is positive. So we can write this division problem, negative two divided by negative three, as a positive two divided by a positive three and that's our answer at this point. We're gonna to get to fractions very soon here, but that's enough for now. 
We'll see you again soon.